reading from Philippians 3 and 12 uh, and Philippians 3 and 13, the Apostle Paul, in writing to the church at Philippi, penned these words, not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may be apprehended, that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Uh, in the last days of uh, the year of 2008, I think it's so important that we observe scriptures such as this. The Apostle Paul in writing to this church uh, with all of his many accolades that he had accumulated by this time, he, he only wanted to take uh, resolve in one. He, he wanted to say that he had the ability to, that he had laid hold of, actually gotten a, a solid grip on, uh, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching to those things which are before. I was thinking about a passage of scripture in St. Luke 9 and verse 62 where Jesus let, verily said that no man putting his hands to the plow is fit for the kingdom of God. And child of God, as we get to the last uh, years of, uh, last days of a tumultuous year, uh, who would have known before uh, this year that we would encounter uh, bailouts, that, uh, that we uh, would encounter uh, the economic devastation and many crises that this year has brought to the forefront where jobs are being lost every minute, every second, and every day. Uh, to, uh, you know, this year was a very challenging year. It was a year of many great victories, many historic victories, but it was also a year of very many challenges. But what the Apostle Paul and what I want to convey to you uh, is that uh, the Apostle Paul said he was forgetting those things which are behind. Some of us have had a torrid love affair with the past, whether your past was good or bad. Some of us are so caught up in what might have been, what should have been, what could have been. And even on the positive side, we all are, some of us still are, are aghast over what we had, what we did, and who we had. But child of God, I'm telling you right now that God is moving, that God is, the word from the Lord is that we are to move ahead. Uh, this is, uh, the 2009 will be the year of forward progress no matter what we've encountered in the past, no matter how uh, our, case, uh, our case histories, our resumes, and, and our life stories may be littered with, uh, uh, with many melancholy events that God is telling you to move forward. Yeah, yes, saints, uh, literally we have to let the dead bury the dead. Whatever is past is gone. God is ready for us to move into a new day, a new minute, a new hour. Uh, that God doesn't want you to be relegated to the mistakes of 20 years back. Who left you? Who uh, didn't embrace you? Uh, how your mother and father, who may have left you? But God is calling you forward into progress. Yeah, we serve a God of an advancement. I know God has been in your past and God has been in your present, but there is so much more God has for you in the future. In Romans 8 and 18, he said, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to the glory which shall be revealed in us. He said in 2 Corinthians, the Paul in writing to the uh, church at Corinth in 2 Corinthians 4, uh, verses 16 through 18, pen these words, For uh, which cause we faint not, though our outward man perish, the inward what man is renewed day by day for our light affliction which is but for a moment uh, working for us a far more exceeding and eternal way to glory as we look not at the things which are seen for the things that are seen are temporal but the things that are not seen are eternal child of God every minute every hour and every second of God's purpose is ahead God you have seen God work wonders in the past but I'm telling you God has saved the best for last this is the year of forward progress 
progress. This is the year where we're wiping the dust off of our feet, uh, knocking the chips off of our shoulders. No longer are we going to be relegated. No matter the accuser of the brethren, we don't let them bring stuff from yesterday and yesteryear and from high school and from junior high school. The year and the word for this year, this, this 2009 will be the year of forward progress. Yeah, God is calling us into more. God is calling you into more. God is calling your family into more. And child of God, leave all those things are behind. Forget those things which are behind and reach for those things which are before. Remember Lot's wife who had it made as long as she moved towards new ground. But when she looked at what was behind and, and, and all the things that she once knew, she was destroyed. Say, so let's not let our movements turn us into a monument. God is calling us into a powerful 2009. This will be the year of forward progress and the word for you, child of God, is forward march. God's calling you all out of everything that's ever limited you. Let's move into the year of forward progress.